Okay, hello and welcome back to my Birmingham City Road to Glory save. Now I know it has been a while since I was last here. I've had a busy few weeks and months uh, with work and I apologise for the series not being as regular as I hoped. But here we are and I... You know, and we are on to our final two games of the season. As you can see on this screen, we have a five-point lead over seventh place West Brom. So it's looking more than likely that we will make the playoffs. Our next game is all against already relegated Coventry City. So it really has been a... Um, really is a run-in that we should be able to to manage but of course that doesn't guarantee anything let's have a little look at our fixtures if i can remember where to go okay here we are so i believe the last game we played on the channel was potentially reading So since that game, we have won 2 0 against Stoke, drawn 1 1 with Sunderland, lost 4 2 to Millwall, and drawn 1 1 with relegated Blackpool. So it really has been a mixture of the bag. You know, when it looked like we were so close to guaranteeing it, um, we sort of slipped recently. But, you know, like I say, five points ahead. Only really need a point to guarantee the playoffs. Let's look at the division. Of course, Watford have been promoted and are champions. Norwich have gone up in second, so Sheffield United, Millsborough, Burnley and ourselves make up the uh, playoff picture. West Brom, like I say, are five points behind. Could sneak in if we slip up, but I, I'll be honest, all we need is a point today, so I don't really see that happening. But of course, it is football and football manager. Anything can happen. Then you drop down, you sort of got like... Below that, you've got Blackpool, QPR. Oh, sorry, Blackpool weren't relegated. They're up in 8th. Uh, you've got QPR in ninth, 10th Sunderland, which good season back in the in this division for them. Huddersfield 11th, 12th Blackburn, 13th Stoke, 14th Preston, 15th Reading, 16th Cardiff, 17th Luton. Of course, who were actually promoted to the Premier League in real life. Weren't they, of course? So that's a great result for them. Um, but on here, they are 17th, which I still feel like it's not actually that bad for a club like Luton. But, you know, that is where they currently sit. 18th Millwall, 19th Bristol City, 20th Hull City, 21st Wigan. So in this universe, they have survived. Rotherham United under Matt Taylor, I believe. Uh, can we view the staff? Uh, it doesn't actually say, but I'd assume it's still Matt Taylor. Uh, Swansea, of course, relegated as have been Coventry City. Like I say, who we play today, finishing bottom of the division. I uh, apologise about that. One of my friends has just uh, come on to that, so I'll have to try and see if I can cut that out. Here's my manager profile, still a gold badge. Um, been at Birmingham now 302 days, 123. Drawn 15, lost 11, so that's really not yet. Um, I monitor finance as well. I win I win with youth, so I trust in my youth. Um, I'm well, apparently I'm now world class. I'm financially prudent. Um, I've never managed internationally and experienced at the top level yet to win a cup, but of course I could change that. And I'm now... Uh, a respected manager, I'm demanding, and I'm a, a team's talk style of demanding. This is what they're saying is our best, well, my best of 11. But I would disagree, really, but that's what they want to say, so there we go. Let's have a look. Can I view other leagues? France. I 
want England. So yeah, the Premier League, Liverpool top, second Man City, third Man United, fourth Aston Villa. Interesting one there. You know, you can see where your team is on that. Newcastle, eleventh, interestingly, which of course they got into uh, Europe in real life, finishing fourth in the Premier League. Leeds miles from sa miles from safety. Uh, miles being safe, but of course. Uh, in reality, being relegated, Wolves, Everton, and Bournemouth make up the bottom three in this universe. Look at League One: Peterborough are champions, second the Derby, third of Portsmouth, fourth is the Green Lot from down the road, Plymouth Argyle. Of course, I'm an Exeter fan, so but you know that's worse than they've done in real life. So I suppose I can take some some happiness from that. Fifth is Sheffield Wednesday, sixth is Ipswich. So potentially those guys could join us in the championship next season if we do not get promoted. Barnsley and Wickham could still make the playoff picture, as could Lincoln, but I have a feeling that they are probably just a little bit too far away. My club, Exeter City, are in 14th, which of course is around about where we finished in real life anyway. So that is not a bad result for, for Exeter. Um, my hometown, where I was born, Shrewsbury, are 18th. Again, um, a little bit lower than where they finished in real life, but um, you know, still all still in the League One, which is all that matters. And then you can see Forest Green, Port, and Port Vale are being relegated. Cheltenham and Cambridge currently sit in that relegation zone. Burton, I would probably say, are safe, but you know, it's not guaranteed. Let's have a little look at League Two. Salford are in League One. Northampton and Bradford look all but set to be promoted. But, of course, you've got Swindon and Wimbledon sniffing around there. Warsaw and Stevenage in the playoffs. Stockport, Cat, Stockport, Doncaster and Mansfield could still theoretically make the playoffs. But it is looking a little unlikely. I think Stockport's probably the one from, from that that would make the playoffs there. Uh, buh, 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 buh. And then looking at the relegation zone, Harrogate and Grimsby. Grimsby are already relegated, which is really sad to see. Grimsby are a good club, of course, managed by former Shrewsbury manager, Paul Hurst. Harrogate, well, I hope Harrogate don't go down, because I, I really like Harrogate as a club. Um, I think when they, you know, when they beat Notts County in the playoff final, I think I was very, very happy that day. Um, so moving on then, National League, Notts County, of course, Promoted as they were in real life, but this time they are the champions and not Wrexham. It's Chesterfield in second, Wrexham in third, Bromley fourth, Boreham fifth, Southend sixth, Barnet seventh. Of course, Woking and Halifax still very much in the picture. They me, well, I, it seems very unlikely, particularly for Halifax. Torquay, of course, uh, another rival of Exeter's. Um, very sadly beat my team 4-1 yesterday in pre-season um, but you know it you know it's one of those uh, pre-seasons a little bit unpredictable you never know what you're going to get but 15th for Torquay is a good result Scunthorpe of course finished bottom in real life of course uh Surviving there, Yeovil survive survive as well, even though they were relegated in real life. Wilson and Mainson are already relegated. Dorking, another club that I really quite like, actually. Um, having watched the Bunch of Amateurs series on YouTube. Um, so I'll be sad to see if they get relegated. Or the shot, of course, in the relegation zone. Final promoted as champions of the court, as they were in real life. Kings Lynn, Spennymore, Hereford, Alt Alfreton, Chester and Boston United make up the playoffs so far. Uh, Darlington and Telford could still make that, but I think it'll be a big ass for Telford uh, with the points difference there. Scarborough, a former football league club, currently sits 16th. Relegated are uh, Curzon Ashton, Blythe, Kettering, and Farsley. Um, Ebbsfleet, Dover, Bath. Uh, Ebbsfleet promoted as champions, as of course they were in real life. Dover, Bath. Dartford, Haven and the Water of Louisville, Taunton and Slough make up the playoffs. Weymouth could still make it in 
brain tree miss out. Um, Eastbourne Borough, of course, in real life, have just gone professional, currently in 20th. Um, Worthing, Oxford City, Chessant and Concord relegated. Now, of course, Oxford City in real life have just been promoted to the National League for the first time in their history. So, obviously not well rated on this game. Let's have... And then that is it for that, then. Not much. Andre Onana interview coming in. We'll ignore that. So it is. Again, we, we, we really want to get a point in at the very least. We want to begin our playoff journey, but we will see. And it's actually a goal for Coventry. Coventry have taken the lead here. And I feel like they could get a second the way they've been playing. Um, yeah. It, it's not a good start for us, is it really? Um, oh, get on! Come on! Ivan Tony with the finish to make it 1-1 here at Coventry. Let's give the players a team talk. Let's say I'm unhappy. That seems to have motivated the players. So hopefully a better second half for our side. Looking for some intricate passes into play. More collects for Coventry. Going to make a change here, I think. Randall McWay for um, Bakuna, I think Planchetta will come on for Rockethor. Mm, and the other changes. Maybe. Maybe as we go along, but, you know, it's, it's really important we get something from the game today. our settings. I was wondering if we could uh, make uh, going while attacking, but Jukovic grabs the goal as I do that, so I'm going to say we'll resume play. Jukovic has potentially just sealed our playoff position, which would be amazing for the football club. Um, Castiles collects, launches it forward. This could be a big moment for our football club and for our save here. Oh, Bellingham hits the post. Good save by Doyle. And we are through. Um, not through, I mean into the playoffs, which is absolutely fantastic, really. Um, there we go. There's the official confirmation. That we have secured a playoff spot. That's a ball confidence, I think. But the board are very pleased with your overall leadership of the team. This is no small part down to your extremely tight control of wages and expenditure. No, I'm quite good at that. No, our recent form, like I said, is a bit patchy, but we have guaranteed the playoffs. Fun favourites, of course, now are Castiles, Okafor, and Tony. Well, Tony scores all our goals, so I'm not really surprised by that one. Um, of course, counting down to our final game of the season. Not really interested in our um, scouting report, because uh, it's going to be a rotated team. Maurice will play. Uh, 
Um, we will see. Joshua Williams coming at right back. Austin Trusty will play into the Jones. Mark Roberts will play probably his final ever game for the club. And so the Chardonnay. Fousey Goulam will play over George Friend. Gary Gardner coming for Archie Collins playing his last ever game for the club Jordan James coming for Joe Bellingham Tron comes in for Okafor. Hannibal comes in for Randall. Dini for Jukovic. Sits on the bench to the planchetta. Martin over Adams. Sane over Lopez. Um. Ivan Tony will, will of course start Tony anyway. So it is a rotated side to play Sheffield United. Um I think it's the, the, the sensible thing to do really. Um we're going to a team that I believe uh, was one of the teams that were already promoted. Um so it's really just about squad rotation, giving some players some minutes. Um, to help potentially sell them in the summer, um, you know. So we will be looking to sell players in the summer, of course, to to, to raise funds for the Premier League if we, if we go up, and if we don't, um, then we'll do it to to look at, um, you know, to look at uh, building a team that can win the championship, you know. But we started all right here, considering it's a completely new team, bar over and Tony. Um, so it's really interesting that we've actually. More than matching Sheffield United, who seem to really be playing their main team, which you know probably complements our players that we've got such a good quality in the squad. I'm going to say I'm unhappy, and the players are actually happy with that. So let's go ahead with the second half, of course. Basically treating this like a pre-season game now, really. Um, I'm going to swap Hannibal and Chong. Winger. Hannibal on defensive winger. Of course, Hannibal will go back to Manchester United. Um, I'm going to bring on Salif Sane for James. 
Um, Scott Hogan for Ivan Tony. That'll be it for now, so I'll make two changes. Again, just a bit of squad rotation to really help the side, so that's important really um, for us that we that we rotate the squad and you know if we get a result here then it's a positive result, you know. It's a corner for us. It's cleared. You know, I'm quite happy with the how this game's going really, I think. You know, you gotta be really. Um Graham will come on for Hannibal. Um I mean though he's been sat on the bench. For Kuna. For Chong. I have to on there. Morrison won't start today, but we make three changes here, which I think, you know, probably needed a bit of squad rotation. And, you know, at the minute we're getting a positive result, so I don't think we can really complain that about anything, you know, nil-nil at home. Um, you know, we're playing some good football. Um, it's looking like we're going to close out the draw, which obviously is a really good way to to end the season, really in in the league. And it's a nil nil draw with a completely rotated side, you know. And you see how good it's been for the development. Austin Trusty, of course, has really improved. He, he, you know, but Joshua Williams came into the side at right back and seems to be a really standout player. Um, so that could have earned him a summer move because I don't think he's really going to be part of our plans. Um, you know, one and a half star fullback. He is a young player. He's valued at two million. So I think it's one of those that we we probably cash in on him in the summer. But it's a great performance. So of course, Hannibal is uh, going to um, back to Man United. He's played really, really well today. Uh, Tony, of course, didn't have the best of games, but we knew that was going to happen um, with the rotated side. So. We're on. We we're underdogs in the game, so let's have a look at the final table of the season. Um, oh no, we're not in the Champions League, not yet. That's a hope for the future. So here is the final Championship table: Watford win the division, Norwich get promoted in second, Middlesbrough will be who we face in the playoffs, um, semi-finals. Burnley and Sheffield United both make the playoffs and of course we got the points there. We got a draw on the final day which I think suited both teams. West Brom, Sunderland, Huddersfield, Blackpool all really sort of miss out. You sort of, you know, but they, you know, Blackpool have overachieved there I reckon. Um, but yeah, no, they sort of all miss out in the playoffs. Um... Uh, Blackburn, QPR and Stoke all finish in the middle of the table you know nothing really special about them this season but not in danger of relegation in the bottom half we have Preston, Reading of course Reading were relegated in real life Millwall, Cardiff who of course finished 21st in real life Bristol City, Luton again like I mentioned earlier were promoted to the Premier League in real life but they finished 19th Hull finished 20th Wigan survive in 21st of course relegated bottom um, in the real world. Rotherham, of course, as we knew before, relegated in 22nd. Swansea, relegated in 23rd. And Coventry, relegated in 24th. So that's where we'll end today's video. It really has been a pleasure sharing it with you guys. Um, please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.